just in case. So I'd like to welcome you all to the Prophecy Zone. This is Brother Phil Armstrong uh, coming to you uh, from my dungeon in the basement, my studio. So what I wanted to come on and talk about this um, Sunday morning, and I'm hoping y'all have a blessed morning, is um, some of the signs that we are definitely in the end of the age. And um, a lot of us are Bible watchers and we're watching the things that are transpiring in our world. And uh, one of the things is famines. Uh, now, when you think of famines, you think of food. I'm thinking of famine and food, so I'm, I'm about to cover both at the same time. And you probably like, well, how, how is that possible? <laughs> You're going to cover both of them at the same time, but I'm going to make it work. Okay, so famines, uh, Revelations chapter 6, verse 8, tells us that under the fourth seal, the rider on the pale horse is given authority over the fourth of the earth to kill with a sword and with famine and with pestilence. Daily famines will occur during the tribulation. It will be a factor in wiping out one fourth of the world's population during the first seal judgment, uh, during the seal judgment, excuse me, described in Revelation chapter six, according to the story published by the National Geographic website on May 12, 2020, swarms of giant locusts and swarming parts of, are swarming parts of the East Africa, bringing with them great famines. Um, so it's killing the crops. These people, these farmers, and uh, the, the country cannot. Um, so we, we Americans don't realize how uh, potent these these beasts are. Uh, remember, in Egypt, it was part of one of the uh, uh, plagues that God struck Egypt with because Pharaoh would not let uh, God's people go. It says. The National Geographic story also noted that swarms of locusts can destroy up to 300 million pounds of crop in a day. That is crazy. Okay, folks, we're, we're dealing with uh, pandemics, uh, we're dealing with uh, commotions, riots, and we're dealing with famine. Okay, and the, so also what I was talking about is famine of the Word of God. Um, in order to know what's going on, we have to read God's word daily. So, okay, so inflation, okay. It's going to come a time, the Bible says, that a, a, a loaf of bread will cost a day's wage. Um, that is, that's ridiculous. So it says, Revelation chapter 6, verse 6 reveals that a time of great inflation lies ahead of, uh, on the world during the tribulation, such as a quart of wheat will sell for a day's wage. Do we see the potential for this in our world? Absolutely. Venezuela stands as an example of devastating inflation caused by government debt and printing money. And they want to bring that to America. And that... That's not, that's not good. I didn't want to bring that to America, come into America. Okay, so violence, uh, violence is another sign. So I'm on a particular Christian website, um, PNW. Uh, so it's uh, <coughs> prophecynewswatch.com, um, violence. Um, I want to read something from the Bible. Um, but it says Revelation 9.21 tells us that of all people during the tribulation period, nor did they repent of their murders and their sorceries and their sexual morality and thefts, just as in the days of Noah, violence will fill the earth during the tribulation period. And we can already see signs of that happening right now. Um, and a lot of the stuff that, you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I believe it's made up. Uh, a lot of it's paid for, bought and paid for. But it's going to come a time where it's going to go live, where real people are frustrated because they're going to uh, uh, take your welfare checks and your food stamps and your Social Security. And, 
you know, they're going to take things that you you kind of, we as a nation held for granted. I, I'm not talking about you in general, but as Americans, we took for granted. Um, America was a free nation you know, for so long. I um, mean, when we did go through slavery, we did go through the civil rights movement, and that is true. But we, we also had like 30, 40, I mean, since I was a kid, um, and since the 1970s, the late 1970s, um, you know, there's always going to be racism. You, people are going to experience racism. And, um, you know, that's that. But anyway, uh, it says uh, the Antichrist will cause the killing of a number of saints during the tribula uh, tribulation time. Revelation 7, 9, 14 uh, pictures a large multitude of murdered that have come out of the great tribulation. These are no doubt the same ones John referred to in uh, Revelation 6, 9, who were killed for the word of God and the witness they had bore. We also see the violence across Christians in our world and the seeds of it in the United States. I saw a um, somebody on Facebook um, post uh, some of the statues are being torn down uh, and some of the statues um, rep are down south, south and uh, ha it represents the Confederate um, and, and things like that. But they also made a mockery of uh, Abraham Lincoln in Washington, D.C. Uh, in some parts of the United States. But uh, pretty soon, I mean, this is what it said, it said pretty soon, uh, a lot of the um, you know, Christian monuments was gonna fall. And and, and I also saw another um, person say, oh, well, it, it's, it's, it's on the verge of idolatry anyway, because you shouldn't have Jesus in your city on, on uh, you know, as a statue. You know, like this one, a cross is one thing, but having Jesus, the Bible talks about that as being idolatry, because you're worshiping, you're, you're honoring a sign or a statue, okay? It says, can there be any doubt regarding the daily intentions of the left in America who advocate abortion up to and uh, after birth, who put patients sick with uh, COVID-19 in, in nursing homes, killing thousands of elderly, and who send police to stop worship services? Okay, so that, that's covered under violence. Then it says increase in anti-Semitism, anti okay? And, and, and this is going deep in our society. I remember some of my relatives used to say things that, that they didn't trust the Jews. I said, like, what, what did the Jews do? No, at that time, I wasn't born again. I wasn't saved. Since we also know the second half of the tribulation period would be a time of deadly violence against the Jewish people. Now they're gonna have to go to Petra. Uh, they're gonna get swallowed up in Petra. And I, and I think what God does is he does kind of like what he does to, to um, Pharaoh. Pharaoh's heart was hardened. And God um, hardened his heart that, that it would be difficult. So he, he sent those plagues and kind of like uh, Pharaoh did it to himself because at first God was giving him an opportunity. But as time went on, he started to harden uh, Pharaoh's heart. So the Antichrist will, and I'm kind of reversing this, would be blind to the fact of what's in the Bible. If he would have read the Bible, he would have known that they were in Petra. But God, uh, and, that, and that's near the Jordan Valley, that's in Jordan, um, Petra is. And you heard what the president of um, Jordan said that, that Israel annexed that property in the in the land. Um, I can't explain it in this video because I'm running out of time. But he, he it's going to be war in the Middle East. So the New World Order. Okay, if you go to the UN uh, website, you notice that they they call themselves the New World Order. They're starting to be blunt about it. So I say this, you know, as far as the rapture is concerned, it's very near. And if they're doing stuff like that, then <laughs> it's very near. Um, tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, tell tell everybody that Jesus Christ is coming soon. It says the scriptures tell us that a one world government will dominate the entire earth during the tribulation period over which the Antichrist will seize control. Daniel seven twenty four 
26 in Revelations 13, 1 through 10, the day we see the coming of the one world government forming before our very eyes. The UN now has a website, I mentioned this earlier, um, and, and it's entitled, Let's Take Our Planet Back. And it is, um, is you, if you want to go to it, it's, um, w, it's HTTPS colon slash uh, UN, it says UNNWO.org. So they actually call it the UN New World Order. It's, it, says, it says as easy, it's an easy way to remember the link is to think of the United Nations New World Order. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, serenading our rights. Um, if you go to Daniel chapter two, and you look at the, the head of gold is um, Babylon, um, the two arms is Media Persia, the chest is Greece, uh, and the bottom is, um, uh, the bottom legs are um, Rome. But the feet is 10 feet. That represents the Antichrist kingdom. And it's mixed with iron and in cl with clay. Iron means an iron fist, like Adolf Hitler. And the clay means the people, like the United States. Now mix those two together and that's what you get. I think you're going to get something worse, like a tribal thing. You ever watch those movies when you got warlords and tribals and they got ear, they got these hair, they got these knives, they got the, per you know, just ears all tap you know loafed up and and earrings and all kinds of stuff and they look just tough you know that tough look warlords taking over counties and taking over cities and you know you'll watch the movie escape escape from new york um but uh you know um since center in right so since the onset of the COVID 19 the willingness of the people in the united states to surrender their rights and the freedoms have astonished me Many barely follow unconstitutional restrictions, <laughs> blindly follow um, un un unconstitutional restrictions without protest or any resistance whatsoever. This has been a successful test run for the globalists. It certainly has been. Okay, so the mark of the beast technology. Um, you know, with Bill Gates, he's, he's declaring that he wants to give us a vaccine, but he also wants to give us a vaccine that has a tracer in it, but who traces every human being. Now, if you go to the corner in my city, you got cameras all on all every part of the four intersections. You go into every building, there's cameras. You go, no matter where you go, it's cameras. Um, and they're going to be tracking us heavily. Okay, what about uh, Middle East tensions? Middle East tensions. We see the annexation coming in July first. Is is Netanyahu going to do it? He seems like he's not wavering. He seems like he's going to do it. I don't know if he's riding on a political thing or what, but he is going to annex uh, the Middle East, and then they're going to start looking at Israel. We know that the Bible says in Zechariah that all nations will come against Israel. All nations will start to criticize Israel, and it will be the catalyst uh, to bring about the Israel surrounding uh, neighbors like Egypt and Jordan and and the Palestinians and you know Iraq will come against Israel, and and then after that there will be a confederation of nations with Russia coming down to attack Israel. Okay. So um, apostasy, we know we're deep into apostasy. Uh, the churches, the church age is, um, has been here for 2,000 years. And, and the, Jesus said that when I come back um, to the earth, when I come back for the rapture, will I find the faith? Well, will people be ready for my coming? It says, be ready for that hour that you think not, the Son of Man is coming. Lawlessness, my last on my list. Um, Lawlessness, we see it happening with the Antifada. We see it happening on the United States streets. Um, you know, it just, it's just a matter of time before we, you know, I, I, like I said, I, brought, I think most of these things that we see on TV right now are bought and paid for. But eventually we're going to go live and people are going to be really angry um, at the government for taking their uh, entitlements. And uh, Social Security, veteran pay, um, and I'm stepping on my own feet. Um, food stamps, um, you know, just all kinds of, you know, especially um, financial aid. 
Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy out there. God bless everybody out there. Uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a few more minutes. I got a timer, so you're going to hear the timer. Every show, you're going to hear a timer. Here it goes. Actually, it didn't time. It didn't even make a sound. <laughs> That's crazy. But uh, anyway, to make, to, make, to make a long story short, um, you know, t time is of the essence. You know, it's, it's time to get right with God. If you don't know Jesus Christ, um, repent. Or you open your arms, you know, pray to God and say, forgive me for all my sins and follow God daily, you know, follow God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. Uh, if you want to say a prayer to, to ask him to be your savior, then go for it. You know, uh, I'm going to do a, a show um, once, uh, probably try to do them as fast as I can, um, be prayed up when I do these shows and, 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 be thankful that God has given me a platform to do these shows. You know, God, God is good and he's good all the time. All the time, God is good. Well, thank you guys for coming on and I appreciate you and I see you later. God bless y'all.